Hello everyone! Today I thought I would do a video about my coloring slash craft space. I know a few people have been doing this so I'm just going to jump on the bandwagon. So let's get started. This here is obviously my desk which overlooks our living room. It's kind of cool how it's open. But I sit here and do all my video recordings. As you can see, right here is my uh, phone holder. It keeps my phone above my desk. And then on my desk, I have my dull pencil sharpener, which is now my new favorite, an electric pencil sharpener that really is just for my kids. I have this little cup here that has any fine liners I'm currently using, scissors, all of my white gel pens, including my Signos and Jelly Rolls in different sizes, my craft knife, Posca, some blending pencils, paintbrush, so it's kind of like my little extra utility. These are just some open stock Prismacolors that I haven't put away yet. And then, I have my little craft mat, which right now has a book on it. I'm about to do a color along for you guys. And then over here, I have my pencils out for my color along. But then I have my little box. My daughter gave this to me for my birthday. We still need to paint it together. But in my box, I have all of these are my cards I use for color alongs. So it's like my little swatch cards. And then all of my pencil sharpeners, right down to these itty bitty ones. And then a, spell, uh, a spare set of jelly rolls. See, I get them in the different sizes. So I just leave that in there. It'll look so much cuter when it's painted. I used to have a Cricut here, and I just sold it. But yeah, I'll, any pencils I'm using for a color along, I'll just, I've pre-picked them out for the color along, so they're sitting up here. And then, this is my overhead light. It's this very little bar, but that's what this cord is here. It has a whole bunch of settings and all that. I tuck it out of the way. So I've been using that instead of my lamp. And then I just have my decorative vase. Serves nothing else but decoration. Some cute little colored pencil notepads that I'm going to start using to mark pages. Pencil shaving jar, because who wants to go to the trash can? This pile here, these are all either ones I've already completed this month or their works in progress that I'm going to share. So I keep them stacked to the side. This is my super cozy, cute chair. I got it like um, from one of those online Facebook yard sales for 50 bucks. It used to be at my computer desk, but it was just too low. My drawer, kind of messy, but I store all my pencil extenders, all my ink pads and stamps, ton of stamps, my watercolor brushes and paper towels. Uh, this is a little clippy that goes on my phone. It's a light ring. Oh. See, creates a light ring. Oops, different settings. Um, this is my electric pencil sharpener. It's actually rechargeable. This is the rechargeable thing and all of its extras, including these and then other erasers, some just random cutout things that I've never used. There's some their packaging, my color wheel. So basically, just kind of a bunch of random stuff. Over here are my alcohol markers. I had my husband buy pipes and cut them out into five inch, and then I just glued them together with hot glue. These used to be for my gel pens, but I started getting to alcohol markers, so I wanted to sort them. And they're all sorted by color family, and they're both a hoo-hoo. And I have the little swatch charts that came with them. I haven't re-swatched them 
because I just don't feel like it. But I did have all my gel pens in there, and now they have moved to this giant case. I mean, look at that thing. Look how big it is on my desk. <laughs> but this has over 200 gel pens and all my favorite gel pens. So I keep it in this monster case, and it is so heavy. Put that there. This is just kind of clutter right now. I'm doing all of our kids' photos I'm redoing and hanging them up. And then, let's see, my filing cabinet just has excess scrapbook paper and tools I never use. But let's go to this shelf here. So here I have my other gel pens. I, ha I do have a gel pen problem. These are ones that just don't have enough ink to do a full picture. So I use them as backup in case the ones in the case run out because they're the same brand. But I use most of these for like journaling and stuff. And then up here I have another case of gel pens. And these are a brand I tried and I don't like coloring with them. They release way too much ink. So I just use those for journaling and note taking those back and then over here I have some books uh, for textures for colored pencil specialist color effects this entire binder is all my swatch charts for all my brands and color combos I have all my glues like my Mod Podge tacky glue these are for my glue gun these are like my we have an instant Instax Mini, however you say it. And so these are like little frames and papers and my extra film. These are wax paper sheets. You, They're food grade, but you buy them and you can pull them out. Let's see if I can get one out of there. They're really packed tight. But what it is, is a sheet and I put them in between my coloring pages so that wax doesn't spread around. So it's kind of nifty. But on the top shelf here, I have a hole punch and my paper cutters. And then this whole section of books here are all mandala books. Like right here, I've got my autumn mandalas, Halloween. Um, basically, any mandala book I've ever bought is on this shelf. <laughs> so, yeah, quite a few. And then next to those are my Derwent pencils. So these are all my Derwents. Like I have a 72 ink tint, 72 pro color, 72 color soft, and then all of my light fast. If I can get it out of there, that's kind of a tight fit. All of my light fast are in this cute pumpkin one. So I have a hundred light fast. So they're in this case. Move that out of the way. Yeah, so that's that row. The next row is all of my coloring books. I don't think I have enough. I should buy more, huh? So I have some random Victorian ones down here. These are all Creative Haven. And then just kind of random coloring books. This Color Me Cluttered was actually one of the first books I ever bought. I repurchased it, but they changed it to a really crappy paper, so I was kind of bummed. I have, these are all Jade Summer right here. Then I have all my Christmas books, Hannah Lynn, Autumn, and then all of my Coloring Heaven issues that I purchased. And then my books are kind of organized by uh, the artists. So I got Hannah Carlson, Maria Troll, and then I have some of these um, fairy tale ones like Pinocchio and Snow Queen, Wizard of Oz, my two Kirby Rosans, and that's it. Daria Song books, all of the Johanna Basford books with multiple copies, and then all my Romantic Countries, also ro <laughs> multiple copies. Clara Makova, yes, again, multiple copies. And then here I just have some spare swatch books I use for testing out colors. Kind of like 
this one on my desk. So I just kind of play around with color combos. And then we have all of my pencils. Here's my ink onyx from Arteza fine liners. I just keep them in the case. I don't feel like putting them in another one. And then I have all my pencils, like Amazon Basics, Black Widow, Holbein's. Let's move over here. Then I have my Polychromos, Castle Art, Shapir Farben, Arteza Watercolor. These are my Prisma colors, 150, 120 Arteza Expert. These are my luminants. Um, I didn't want to put them in one of these cases because they're so protected in here, but I did end up like putting them in order. But this is the portrait set, this little box here. This is the original, and I actually put them in order. So like the ones that you would normally find in here are mingling in here now too. I'm missing the four open stock. Once I get those, I might have to get a case. But up above, I have a bunch of spare sketchbooks. These here are my spare sets. I have a 24 Amazon Basic, a whole 150 Prisma colors. I buy them when they're on sale. At anytime between $80 and $95, you can snag 150 count. And if you use them enough, it's a great deal. So I just keep those there. Random books, including dictionaries. A uh, keyboard cleaner in the way. This is all my washi tape, so are these two little things full of washi tape that I never use. Here I have baskets of gift bags and gift tags. Random sewing stuff that I never use. This is my box of ribbon. Box of plastic ribbons and balloons. And then that is all my paint, acrylic paint and paint brushes. Then I have a little calligraphy thing that I need to work on. The top shelf, let me get back there, is just a bunch of sewing stuff, including some spare fabric and that blue one there, I actually need to turn into a blanket. But that is pretty much my coloring space and where I sit and do all my work. It's cluttered, but organized. I know where everything is. I uh, even have a sewing machine down there, never opened, um, hence why there's all the sewing stuff way at the top. But yeah, this is where I do all my coloring. Maybe I'll do a separate video on all the pencils I actually have and the books, because I have so many books, including some random ones that I think you guys might find that are cute. But this is where I do all of my work. and. Most of the time, I'll be honest, I just film here. I'll do my pastels and stuff over here, but most of the time I'm using a lap desk and I'm watching TV in the living room or my room. But I thought I would share my little craft corner and how I organize it all. I don't know if this would really give you guys any ideas because it's all like mismatched and thrown together, but either way, now you see kind of a behind the scenes where I sit. Until next time, keep coloring.